my god. Good morning, welcome to Sunday morning coffee. I woke up past 10 o'clock and just went, oh no, 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 no. So I have just run down the stairs, um, tried to find somewhere to set up the, the thing. And yes, hello. <laughs> this is the sleepiest Sunday morning coffee ever. Um, I was actually up. I was up and doing stuff at six. Hello, good morning, everyone. Um, I was up at six. Um, I went and did some Animal Crossings, <laughs> and then I think I, I was listening to something. Oh yeah, I was listening to something on YouTube, and uh, and then fell asleep. And I woke up at five past ten. <laughs> I woke up. And went, oh, I must have done. <gasps> So, <laughs> I haven't even had, you know, when you wake up and you have to, like, fully figure out what country and planet and all this you're on. Um, yeah, I have literally just woke up. <laughs> so, good morning, it's a sleepy Annie. I haven't, um, my hair's all, uh, that's not too bad, actually. Um, let's go wash my hair. Um, yeah, and I'm, I'm downstairs because it's comfortable, <laughs> it's where my blanket is. Um, um, um risen. <laughs> Good morning. Um, yes, happy happy Easter. I might actually run and put the cow on. Would that be acceptable? And then I can <laughs> I can at least have my little cup here because I have just ran down the stairs. I don't even know where. Oh yeah, the table I normally use is covered in minis. <laughs> Good morning, good morning, Michael. Morning, Shirley. It's a um, it's a special oh, my special shout out to my brother and my sister-in-law, Michael and Shirley, who are watching. They are NHS heroes. They've been um, working through all the mayhem as paramedics, and they are the best. So give them some little heart reacts. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, no beer, I'm afraid. I just I got up and had a nap. That was that was exciting. Um, I guess all the outside. I've been um been in my garden doing gardening things. Um, with like fresh air. Uh, so I'm totally um today. I totally haven't even had a moment to go right. What we're going to talk about today? So uh, yeah, thanks for that. Uh, yeah, Luke, you are correct. Yes, you can ask whatever you want, and you'll get an unfiltered sleepy answer. It'll be amazing. <laughs> It was, um, uh, old sass from my mum as well. Yes, good morning, mum. Yes, I was, I was late. <laughs> morning, Angeli. I tell you what, I got up. Um, I was up late. This is, this is the true story. Um, I was up late last night, stressed, because I didn't have all the recipes for Bunny Day in Animal Crossing. <laughs> And I thought you had to have them all by today. So I messaged Angela quite late as well going, Do you have the, any what's it do you have any sky eggs? <laughs> I go, Why am I so stressed about this? I need sky eggs. Um, because in Animal Crossing it's bunny day today. Uh of no coincidence, uh, you know, um uh what's the word? reference to Easter at all. Um so you, this weird freaky bunny comes and you have to get all the recipes and then make it all these weird egg related things. Uh, and then you get a cool free thing today. And yeah, last night I was like, I've got them all apart from one. No. So, so like, I was falling asleep playing Animal Crossing. I went, I've just got to get one more recipe. It's got to be hidden somewhere. And then I woke up and went, ah, it's bunny day. Um, and Oh, yeah, this is the worst start to a Sunday morning coffee. And you were there, and you were there. Um, yes, and you'll be pleased to know that I did get the last recipe. I didn't realise you were allowed to get them today too. So I think I woke up, got the last recipe, got my gifts from the, the Bunny Day Bunny, and maybe I was so relieved that I fell back asleep again. <laughs> so what has happened in Bad Squiddo this week? Um, I guess the the recentest recentest thing is um, if you so <laughs> I think I am still asleep. Um, if you love this sort of thing, uh, I was on Battle Chat podcast. Uh, we recorded on Friday, and it went live uh, to everyone last night, and it's uh, it's two hours of of this. <laughs> 
but we've added Henry Hyde, who's an absolute gent, and I love him. Uh, we had, we had quite a fun fun chat. Um, so we talk about there's a lot about mental health, there's a lot about just what's happening in the world at the moment. Um, I try to keep it as I do as positive as possible. So we're talking um, talking quite a lot about coping strategies and um, how <laughs> how to put standard anxiety responses into uh, pandemic response. But it's not it's not like I try to make it so it wasn't just another thing talking about COVID because I'm sure lots of people just don't want that. Uh, but yeah, it's hopefully quite positive. I've had some really nice feedback already um, through Twitter. I've had a few people say that was their favourite show and uh, and that it's made them really happy. I'm like, yay! Um, and then no, towards the end, I do actually talk about um, models as well. So I have a bit of a chat about the Kickstarter minis and how, how the Kickstarter and how Bad Squidows sort of doing at the moment. It's quite nice. And Hen Henry's um, ace and... It's, it's not just me talking for two hours, it's Henry talking for probably an hour and a half of it. <laughs> so, yeah, it was fun and that, that was really good. Um, I did not see the news article reporting that ancient Britons worshipped hares, but now maybe I will. Although that's all I've seen today is um, the Easter bunny, oh no, the bunny day bunny on Animal Crossing. So. <laughs> Right, what else? I, really, I have never been this sleepy. I think I've had it before where I woke up sort of like five to ten, but I really have just woke up and uh, come straight on. Um, so this week has gone really fast. That first week when we were in lockdown, when um, it went, I was just looking at my hair, it's so bad. Um, the first the first week of lockdown went really slow. Then last week went fast, and this week has gone fast as well, um, which I guess is a good thing for me anyway. So I've been I've just been doing so much, but then yeah, it's weird. So uh, I think it's the same as the last few um, weeks, where it's just this this like underlying stress, I guess, that we all have and worry. So it's just kind of tiring. That's my excuse for sleeping in, not. Uh, the bunny day bunny <laughs> but that's still sort of um going on i think and um oh no quick let's convince annie that salute has been uncancelled she has a week to get ready oh i'm still having salute dreams it's crazy so tr war games trade show dreams are like really common with traders and it's always like everything goes wrong and I'm still having these salute panic dreams. Like, Annie, you've got a whole year. It's fine. <laughs> but the dreams will be stuff like that. Oh, salutes tomorrow and I didn't realise. Damn. And all this stuff. Um, so, what, uh, what else have we got that we have happened this... What has happened this week? Still in the office. Still shipping. Um, still... Still going out there for you guys. <laughs> Still following all the rules. Um, again, if you haven't seen before, um, I work on my own, live on my own, and I have a postal collection. So that is ace. So I have minimal, absolutely minimal contact, exactly zero contact. So I'm one of the few that can still stay open because it's not like I'm even going out risking anything and bringing anything back because there's nobody to bring it back to. So that's a bonus. Um, so as long as we are legally and governmentally advised sort of thing to be open, I'll still be shipping every day. <laughs> I did a mega I did a mega Kickstarter update. So the um the Kickstarter <laughs> will be shipping next week. Starting to ship anyway. <laughs> Uh, weirdly, all I'm waiting on at the moment, well, apart from loads of casts, but that was, <laughs> I've just made that sound like that was a, d a dig at the caster, which it was not. Um, I mean, I've got, half, I've, I've done this slide, so I won't go into it too much on the Sunday, but we've got half of the metal, and the other half is the stuff that's just arrived with the casters. So that's been speed, speedily moulded, coming back to me for approval next week, and then get cast. But it means I can do a chunk of them already, um, so the people that have ordered just a few of those, a um, uh, few of, <laughs> just a few of the um, packs, 
So, for example, off the top of my head, I've got the wrens, lumberjills. Um, oh, I've got wrens, lumberjills, SOE Annie, a whole bunch of the stuff that you saw before, where you saw the sculpts before. Basically, they're all um, they're all cast. But I have the cards and the stickers and the packaging. And I was just waiting on them. They were due this week um, so that I could... Uh, Hi Becca, everyone's watching, look at the whole the family show, good morning, this is my face, remember me, hey! <laughs> um, the post, the post office has, um, so, post office my way, so going out has been fine, like the posts going out is fine, post coming in, they thought that I've been closed, so I haven't been getting any real mail post, and apparently it's all held at the depot with no card, so, um, yeah, so I've been trying to figure out how I'm going to get all that next week because there's no phone number either, yay! Uh, so as soon as I get all that, I can actually start shipping, so... <gasps> I'm so sorry, <laughs> this is a highly professional uh, Sunday morning coffee. I feel like Holly Willoughby all this morning or something. I'm not even hungover. <laughs> Um, Mexican yawn. Yes, yeah, sorry. Welcome to the yawn show. Hey, eh? welcome all yawn. Um, oh. Oh. <laughs> what's that? I just... Oh, it's so <laughs> I can see something on the screen. Oh, never mind. So Kickstarter, that's all sorted. Um, I will I will get up from my little perch because I've got some scops to show you. I've got the dispatch riders, which are beautiful. Um, I can very quickly, if you'll allow me, I will run upstairs and I will grab... I started painting some of the new dwarves last night. New releases have gone awesome, so thank you everybody for that. Um, extra pleased with how the terrain's gone down. It's been really cool. So you can chuck those, chuck, chuck those in your shopping basket. Go on, there you go. Right, I'm just going to run and grab the... Um, uh, what's it? Dwarves! The dwarves and the dispatch riders. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> oh no, there's nothing in the background. Yay! <laughs> Hello, Piglet. Can you hear? Can you hear the squeak, Lens? They heard, they heard me get up. <laughs> They've been getting so much grass this weekend. Um, so yes. And they're like, she's going to give us some more. I am. Right. Oh yes, the blanket made by Sim, who's watching. It is very lovely. And it's made out of that squiddo yarn as well. Because um, I sent her the rest of the yarn after um, after I'd packed in. And so she made me like all the crochet things. I'm sat in a <laughs> in like a cocoon of crochet, which is super nice. Um, but the noise, yeah, that is the pig. <gasps> I won't get one. <laughs> this is all meeping. Right. So last night I I was I did, oh, I've just done so much typing. I think that's it as well. So. I did a big Kickstarter update the other day, and then last night I did a newsletter update. And as I was typing about the uh, the dwarf shield maidens and how cool they are, I thought they are really cool. I want to paint them. Um, so as soon as I thought, okay, if I finish this in good time, no pressure, Annie, but you maybe can paint them. So I did. They're only base coated, but. I haven't seen anyone paint them yet because they're brand new and my painter hasn't got to them yet. So I thought I'd give it a go. They're only base coated, so it's okay. They're not, they're not supposed to look good yet. Um, but this was an achievement for me just to get the base coats on. 
Um, I really hope that today I finish them, because um, uh, the next... Sorry, <laughs> I'm distracted by that there. Um, because I tend... If I can get things finished in one sort of boof, then it's fine. My, I don't know what it is. So I've got some other stuff that's all like 80% finished, and I just can't finish it. So if I get these finished today, that's my goal. That would just be that would be good good for my brain too. Um, I'm just looking at them now. That's some damn good colour selection. So there we go. Story. There's just blob. What I do, I blob it all on just to check. Focusing on my face. Just to check that they're kind of all in the right place. And I neaten it up. I do some inking. Then I do some highlights. So it's only it's quite a ready skin. Um, Oh, ready skin base, but it's because it's the only base I've got, so she won't be as sweaty. <laughs> so that's one. Of, these are out now. These are the brand new, um, the dwarf shield maidens. I just thought, oh, I'm gonna whack them in with my my shield maidens. That I'm slowly painting up for something. <laughs> one day when I may play something. Just the min minis are lovely. And even just whacking the base coats on last night, they were just really satisfying to paint. And I'm much around there, because they've got shields, so the shield's going to cover that bit anyway. It was cool, because I had... Um, I was doing the update, and it has the inked versions on them. So, uh, I was looking at that thinking, yeah, I want to paint those. And then, because I have the inked versions, so they're sort of already there, so I just got to put some spray on them and I could get started. I just, I'm just hoping by me adding a bit of paint, you can see even more. Not so much at this horrible base coat stage, but you'll be able to see just how lovely they are, especially their hairdies. I'm all about the hairdies on these minis. Let's see. They are so sweet, aren't they? Uh, I just want to show you the other hair to use a bit more. So I've tried to do light hair so you can really see it when I put some ink on. Which is so intricate. Good old Shane. Mm -hmm. There's little side, side bits there. So I'm really loving these as troops that you can add to the... Because a lot of it's sort of hero-y based. I might, oh no, I've jinxed it now. Too sleepy. I say, I might put a deal on me. Nope. <laughs> I might, I might at some point do something like if you buy it, do a little money off if you buy loads of packs of them. But then maybe I should get some more made before that. Because then you could make units of them. That'd be neat. Yeah, I like that. Hand weapon ladies. Right, I'll just put them out of the spit where I will sit on them. Um, considering that before before we did, um, uh, sorry, I missed something when I was just there. What was it? Do do my next attended show. I do not know. Um, the next official one is Expo, um, but that's August, and yeah, I'm still still not sure what's happening. Well, they don't know what's happening. It's one of those. Pandemic times! We'll see sort of near the time. But that's a, the next one that's still on. Um, and then the other partisan. And then we get into that sort of colours. Evening. Evening evening time of the year sort of uh, sort of things. Um apologise. But this is a this is a live show. I've got my whole family's come to watch and it's the one where I turn up straight out of bed <laughs> tripping over myself as I'm jumping down the stairs um what other cool things um so I've ordered some more sculpts from Ristol who is the best and he so he sent the new sculpts they're totally secret because sometimes I do keep secrets so there will be a secret um uh a secret 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 mm -hmm. uh, secret release um I guess we're just going to get that out when we can, so maybe a couple months. Um, yeah, yeah, and just as I think um, NEC might still be a hospital in August, so yeah, I'm kind of not planning on that happening, but again, we don't know. So, 
Um, so yeah, Ristol sent me these sculpts, which are really cool, and they're secret, so I'm afraid I cannot tell you other than that they're adorable. And I've got lots more Ristol um, uh, releases coming out, by the way. There's loads. He is the best. And he sent me loads of presents as well. I've only brought one because I was I was running out of the office and couldn't fit much in the bag. Um, but he sent me a load of the things he's been working on. It's this, um, it's like uh, a dye you put in the resin. So basically you can just cast it and it makes an instant ornament. So if you want things that just look nice, um, then, uh, what's the word? Whoop. Um, I oh, totally, I'm still asleep. I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah, so it dyes, it dyes the, the resin, but on the outside. So they look, these are like, um, metal effects and then you can buff them afterwards so he's been messing around with that so he sent me some of his sort of like miscasts where they're absolutely lovely but they've just got a little bit where the dye isn't there so he sent me these and even though they're not imperfect they're still so beautiful uh, I'll show you this one today but then I'll show you the rest maybe next week I also bought that have you seen the picture with the hand that's part of, I got two hands off him, one of them's holding a, a weeping willow, uh, which is really lovely. Uh, so if you love our chameleons, I don't think he's selling the bronzy ones on the website yet, just the, the larger ones. But this is, look at this, this is so cute. These are little blebs, it's a big chameleon. So he sells this as, um, there we are. He sells this as it is. But I think if you nag him, if you want one, well, for, to buy one, you might um, you might do some bronzy ones. How cute are they? And with the buffing, you can really see the detail. He sent me um, the the dragon's head, which is so impressive. But it has this enormous magnet on it. I thought, yeah, I'm not putting that in a bag with my laptop, so it's going to have to come separately. <laughs> I'm surprised they even like, allowed it to ship. That is such a strong magnet. It's a beast. But it got here. Um, oh, I'm so sorry. It's very unprofessional. Um, Michael says, any plans to use peanut in a model? I could be convinced. I could be convinced. <laughs> what What is peanut posted in the thing? It's a, He's got this really small car. Um... But I don't know. I don't know what it is. So you put it there. There's a delay between me and the text. So, um, so yes, I have the. So the resin takes longer to cast than metal. So I've got the uh, resin samples. Oh no! Just as Louis comes here. Hello, Louis. Um, also, hero Louis is the owner of CMA CS, who does all of our castings. Um, it's being the absolute best at the moment and working his butt off um, for unappreciative Annie. Oh no, I'm just, I think there's a little um, little chip in my, my dude. I think that's what it is. Um, yes, not the, not my cast. So, we have to, um, oh no, the pigs will start rustling if I'm rustling this. I've got the samples for the... Have I got both of them? Do, do, do. Hey, I do. Samples for the dispatch riders. <gasps> oh, 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 no. <laughs> I, um, so I check these out and then as long as everything's okay. Can you hear this? So I check everything's okay, and then I pass uh, pass my feedback back, and then they churn out a million of them. So these are the dispatch riders. So they're all excellent, and will be are being churned out possibly as we speak. So again, I'll get my face out the shot. So these are casts. I'm so impressed that these are casts. They don't come with hands. They didn't have hands in, in 1939. <laughs> the hands are on the handlebars. Don't worry, I'll show you that afterwards. She's there going, here's your letter. So they've got these little puddles on. She hasn't because they're riding. 
so that's one pack of them I can't wait to see these painted poor John is painting lists and all this yeah they think it's they think it's food it's not food it's dispatch riders oh the popcorn in. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get them some foods after this so then we've got so these are the bikes. You see those little struts? You clip them off. They just help with the casting. Look at that. Them some good bikes, right? Don't worry, the handles are separate. I'll show you the <laughs> I'll show you the handles. See, this is all still the same set. You get you get the two bikes. Needle. Uh, it's me trying to not drop stuff down the sofa. Whoop. You get so the handles are the smaller bit. You get whoop. you get hands on handles, so they just attach on. So you get two of those, and then you get four of these little um little bags that you can put on or off it's up to you i personally would put them all on so you put these so bear in mind my uh trying to hold them all and not not kind of onto the onto the floor Oop. you can yeah you put them on the sides there and that neat but you don't have to cool so that's just one pack of them On there. Mm -hmm. Oh, I might get a piglet out. I haven't got any grubs for them though, so I'd have to go in the garden. Maybe I'll do an afternoon pig pig vid. Uh which motorbike is it? We went we went through we had a whole discussion on motorbikes and I can't remember what we went for in the end. Uh if you throw out and know the names of motorbikes to me, I'll be able to say what it is. Uh, Katie says, if they're done from prints, can you rescale them? If you scale them to zero gauge railway use. I've been interested in that sort of thing. I'd have to uh, have to have a look. You are the railway queen, so you'll have to chat to me about it. Oh, so this is the other pack I'm getting out. <laughs> So this one's funny because it looks like she has enormous legs and it's not. It's just because of the way she's she's on the on the bike. Oh, uh M forty. Yes, they're M forties. Look at that, we know my bikes. We did look at um the matchless and the triumph, but they are in M forties. It was a mix of there were lots of bikes used anyway, so it wasn't like we could make the wrong decision and then it was also down to which would work better, cast, that sort of thing. Right, just move there. I do like the Triumphs though, they were cool. Um, so this is the other pack, so they're just wearing different gear basically, but one pack is delivering a letter, um, the, other letter the other pack is writing, and there's rules coming up with this in Mr. Clark's Two Fat Lardies. So yeah, she looks really funny, like she's got the longest legs in the world, but it looks fine when she's on the bike. <laughs> Hello, I'm John Wayne. So let's have a look at the proper, the actual sculpt. Sorry, just moving about. There's a, there's a nice turnout today as well. It's, I think it's people that actually come to this every week or whenever they can because it's really nice. And those faces are so beautiful. So she's got a separate bit there. Lovely little shoes. So that's the people's bikes are the same, but I'll show you again, bike fiends. So they're on puddles, which is unusual because a lot of people don't. But it means you can actually glue them to a base, because otherwise they're always falling over. So that'll help you out a lot, and you can always trim the puddles too. Oop. 
as I throw them on the floor. And then we've just got a little bit of her writing so her hands glue on. It's a little bit fiddly but it, it works. So that's her hand, hand on there. And then we've got the other, um, what is it, handlebar. So it all makes sense when it's together, it's this. Which at first looks you like, well, oh, that's a bad rendery, that's really square. But no, it's an unfolded map, so that's why it's purposefully all sort of squarey. Which all makes sense. And again, just the other the other mini handlebar. There's no point showing you that in full. So they've all been approved and they're all gonna be cast. And yeah, that's so you get them on these little sprues, your little bags. That's cool, isn't it? And these are gonna be some absolutely stunning kits i cannot wait um all the sculpting is now finished on the kickstarter i am so happy about it you'll hear me gushing about it on on henry's battle chat if you if you have two hours spare <laughs> and i was chatting to him for another half an hour afterwards as well um but we've got uh the dancers are incredible they're the best things ever to exist ever if you've not seen any of the updates, oh my god. <laughs> it's like, right, I'll get up, I'll wash my hair, I'll get the tea on, I'll do the, oh no, I'll just run downstairs. Um, but yeah, the battle chat is very good. I do recommend. Uh, yeah, just put battle games uh, into, into Google, or I'll, I'll share it on the page today as well. And I'll share it into Baggy's Cave. Um, Yes, so they've got the two dancers, one's in a dress, one's in ATS gear, and they're having a dance. They might be celebrating the end of the war, they might be just dancing mid-war, but it's just so lovely. But you need to see it to believe it. I've got a sore elbow, and I think it's from playing Animal Crossing. <laughs> so I'm trying to like stretch my arm out, it's ridiculous. That raccoon totally has me. Um... <laughs> Uh, despite all this, I've been in very good, uh, very good spirits this week as the uh, the Annie update. I think so anyway. I probably forgot, but yeah, I think I've been uh, generally pretty good. Uh, Leanne, you can add the dancers if you do it by the end of today. Anyone that wants to add to their Kickstarter, you've got till the end of today um, to um, blah to put another order in, choose free shipping, and then just put the name of the um, blah. <laughs> the name of the previous order. I'll just put pop with my previous order if it's the same name. It'd be easy for me to find you. And then you can add whatever you like on. But it has to be by today because I'll start printing them all off tomorrow. <laughs> I might just sleep. I've had too much sleep. This is a problem. I've had plenty of sleep now. <laughs> um, yeah, you should all add the dance we've been yet on and I'll just add it into the order and combine them. So you should do that. Um, Michael's, um, Lillian, shall I make you a coffee? Yes, please. I am coffeeless now. I'm in the full, I ran out of that milk. Um, I'm in, it's M20. Yes, you are correct, Carol. I I was just echoing other people. I'm the worst. Yep, it is the M20 for sure, not the M40. <sighs> um, bike, yes. Uh, what was I saying? Um, yes, someone make me a coffee, please. <laughs> Um, no coffee for me though, I'm totally out, so I'll be having more more water, so I drink water now because it's all I'm down to, I'm down to water and soups that I've made, I made a new soup yesterday, it's not very inspired, it's carrots, peas and lentils, <laughs> but still food, um, yeah because I'm not going to the shop and I'm trying to just not spend money at the moment because of all the stuff going on, I don't know, um, else i was gonna say something huge yes i have an announcement dun, dun, dun. although because i didn't check beforehand i don't know exactly what the announcement's called but um i've uh i've been working with joe brumby this week um snurg <laughs> who is a sculptor and multi-talented um man of all things so he was going to be um 
All right, can we throw non-kickstart stuff into an order? Yes, you can. Just put as long as it really helps me if you put what order number to um, merge the things with. When you get the shipping notification, it will still be separate because I can't edit it, but they'll go together. Um, yes, Joe Brumby. Uh, so he's on his second book, and because of all this, it's sort of going to put a delay to him um, releasing it and all that. So we put it up on YouTube. So I'll put the link on YouTube to. Um, just so people can check it out, but he's sent me a nice text version after a whole day of his computer just sh uh, raging at him, um, and he sent me the uh, manuscript. Was that it? So I will be doing. Um, if you like this, and there'll be more of this. Uh, I'll be doing uh, little snippets that I'll get scheduled up on YouTube so that they they come out maybe seven p.m. every day. Um, obviously from a few days in advance because I need to get to my printer which is at the office um, where I'll be reading out um, his story so it will be the you can use it as just an audio or a nice Annie Reads I think I'll do them in 15 minutes at a time a little 15 minute slots I need to check with YouTube what the actual what they want you to do now because it used to be under 15 minutes now it's over so people actually see it but I'll put more information up on that um, his last book uh, it was absolutely lovely. I can't remember the name. It's in the weird world setting. It's all about weird, weird creatures, anthropomorphic creatures, and all that. So that's really nice. Um, and yeah, I'll be doing story time with Annie with my proper camera setup as well, not just the, the live setup. Um, there will be cake. Oh yeah, yeah, the cake. Yes, cake. <laughs> That will be excellent. Angelie's going to leave cake on my doorstep. <gasps> oh, so sorry. I'm ever so sorry. I figured this was better than just cancelling it because I know you're waiting for it. Um, what time are we on? Maybe it's time for me to go. I could grab a pig. You'll hear me chasing them. I don't know which pig to chase. I get sponge. I get sponge for you. Yes. And then I'll know what time is when I get back. <laughs> Oh yeah, Michael said they could show Exotic Mini. Oh god. You know what? Someone's gonna do it. I bet Hassle Free or... Uh, who else would do that? Someone like Effing Cool or... Uh... Yeah, they might do it. I could, I'd want to, but I won't. I could do a Carol Baskins Mini. Yeah, that would fit with my lady. <gasps> yeah, Carol Baskins. <laughs> It's um, if anyone's not seen the Tiger King on Netflix, it it's a ride. It's definitely a ride. Um, <laughs> yeah, I want to make it. I can surround my pigs. I'm gonna make a nice little um, a nice little reading nook, and so it'll be like good evening with Annie. Yeah, hopefully it'll be lovely. Yeah, I'll be back in a second. I'm just gonna gonna see what wild creature I can catch. <laughs> Which one's looking most vulnerable? That one. Let's get it. <laughs> Hello. Hello, you're very soft. Oh, that, that's unusual. I didn't expect you. Oh, hi, sweetie piggy. Oh. Oh, hello. I thought I was getting sponge. And because uh, I saw some fluff, and I got a Karen, and she was she was really sleepy. She normally runs away from me. Don't worry, I'll put, I'll put her in the shop. She's still waking up and going, "What's happening?" So I'm going, "I don't know." So, poor oh, you are a big girl. Oh, you need your nails trimmed again. How does how is that? So, oh, this is my massive girl Karen. You don't see her as much because she's quite shy, but she's so huge. Look at that beast. She's a beast, aren't you? I'll put the... Oh, Danny's here as well. It's like Karen's one I can't put down. Hang on a sec. Right. Seen as a popular request. This, this is what's happening in, in that squiddo household at the moment. So we've got me, Pigs, and Danny. <laughs> get out the shop. What have I told you about getting into my shop? Yeah, well, I'm so bored. No, get out the way, Danny. Get out the way, Danny DeVito. I have to have him face the bookcase so he doesn't scare me. God, this piglet is so soft. Where's 
my stuff you will. Hello. I'll put you down so you can see her. I'll move my camera. She's going to flee. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've got to hold it. I'm at my bad angle now. Hello. Hello, Karen. Are you going to somehow wee on all the fabric at once? Oh, I can't quite see. <laughs> there you are. You have some nice grass for you. She's so huge. She is the chonk. She's nearly as big as Gregor, which is pretty mad. Hello. All right there. They're cutie pig. Right. Um. Probably it. Yeah. I don't know what time it is. What time is it? Do -do -do. Big oh, it's alright. She's no good. Oh, oh. Um, I think that's probably all I got. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, nice pig. Oh, being being stuck with pigs is the best. Oh, I'm gonna get you some grass. What I think you have to even do in my garden. Like it's nearly pig ready. The grass is quite long, so I need to trim it because obviously the longer grass is, the wetter it is at the bottom, and then they can't go on it because it's too wet for them. So I have been, oh, so I've been making the garden pig ready. So when it's short, I can see if it's dry and it gets drier quicker. So I'm gonna go. I'm going. Oh, hello. Gonna eat all of my guinea pigs. So, oh, so lovely. Um, <laughs> so, so, she's just so huge. Can you see how huge she is? And that's with a haircut. Hello. Hello. Um, yeah, I guess I'll um I'll booger off, and maybe finish those those doors. Shall I finish the doors, Karen? Yes. Oh, oh she's so warm. <laughs> so thank you for coming along. Uh, even though I've just been a weird, sleepy, rambling person, um, thank you to my family for coming along. And uh, another another shout out to Michael and Shirley who are like NHS heroes. I can't do a quiet clap because it'll scare Karen. <laughs> um, they, they have been frontline paramedicking throughout all this and are the best and super cool. So yes, thank you for that. And yes, I will see you all. I'll see you all next, this time next week, but I'm sure I'll see you in between on my other little updates. And when... Uh, when my little story time chapter begins, I might have a little pig, but I'll probably just wee during it, won't I? Move my wee. I'll show you Karen's little face before we go as well. So there's little Karen. She's like, oh, look at you in your little face. Your little face. Oh. No, okay. No, yeah, you can go there. Right. I don't want to go. <laughs> so alone. Okay, goodbye. Cheers all. You is the best. Bye.